With the release of iOS 17, Apple has brought some really cool new features to iOS. Even though at the first sight you might think this is just a minor update and it doesn't have a lot of features, there are actually more than 200 new features on iOS 17 and it's just beta 1 so I'm really excited to see beta 2 and what it will bring to iOS 17. But even though on beta 1 we have a ton of cool new features and here in this video I will show you guys 12 of those that Apple didn't tell us about. You of course couldn't hear about these at WWDC but not on the Apple website as well. So here are 12 really cool features you must know on iOS 17. First of all when you head on to Safari and you go to a website and this will work with every website that has reader view available it actually allows you to listen to the website so if you just don't want to read it all you have to do is just tap the AA button and you will have here show reader and just underneath it you have a listen to page all you have to do is tap here and it will start reading the page for you so it it basically gives you a sound see iPhone disambiguation iPhone is a line of smartphone. And then it will start reading out loud the website for you. So the complete content of that website. So we'll have that same button to pause and resume listening anytime you want. As you probably know on iOS 16 you can enable a power on sound for the iPhone. I believe this works only on the iPhone 14 models and it basically gives you a startup sound similar to the Mac. Well with iOS 17 you have another option. So go under accessibility and go right here to audio and visuals and now you can enable that same sound but you will have also the power off sound so right here power on and off sounds so it will give you a sound when you power off and when you power on your device with iOS 17, Apple has added shortcuts to the lock screen widgets. So you will have the shortcuts app right here and it offers the smaller widget. You can add as many of these as you want, of course, up to four. And then from here, all you have to do is just tap on any of them. And this will actually allow you to just pick any of the shortcuts that you have on your device and that way add them to your lock screen. Now what this will do is of course allow you to just run any of these shortcuts directly from here. Previously with iOS 16 you would be able to do this but you only had to use like a third party app in order to do this but now shortcuts are available by default on the lock screen of your iOS 17 device. If you have seen a previous video that I've done, I showed you guys that Apple now has added estimated time when downloading apps or games from the App Store. Well, they have done the same now for file transfer. So when transferring files, you can see right here, it shows the estimated time when that will be finished. So of course, this will work with larger files because smaller files will instantly be transferred. But if you have like larger files, it will show you right here the time when it will be completed. Now this right here is a change that you probably won't notice but if you just take a close look at it it's actually pretty cool and maybe very very useful. So whenever you're using the sliders here for the brightness or the volume control on your control center you will notice that now with iOS 17 you can actually change these really really fast. Now previously I would just do this and it will just be stuck right there where you lift the finger off. Now all I have to do is just swipe fast like this and I will be able to turn the volume all the way up or just swipe here really fast and it will turn the volume all the way down just like that. This will work for every slider here, the bar brightness and of course the volume control as well. You can see how easy that is to just swipe up and it will just slide all the way up. Really, really cool. This works something like the scroll that you do on a web page where you scroll faster and it goes way, way faster. This works on a similar way here and makes it much, much easier for you to turn up or down the volume all the way. Now this right here is a really interesting change as well. Whenever you're using an app that uses your camera, you will see the video effects right here. Now when you go there, now you will have the effects that you can enable or disable, but you will also have this preview right here. So basically this shows you how your video will look once you have applied one of these effects. So it shows right there the app that is using your camera and then right here preview of your camera and you can also tap on the three dots right there to adjust any of these effects as easy as that. So this is pretty pretty cool and of course having that preview right there without having to to go back into the app and see how it's affecting your camera is actually very very useful. 
Apple has made a lot of changes to AirDrop and it has actually integrated it with the dynamic island and it works pretty well so whenever you're receiving an image or anything on airdrop now it will show on the dynamic island right there you no longer get that pop-up right on the home screen so you tap on accept right there and it shows the progress on the dynamic island and once it's done it will also show it on the dynamic island you can see right there and it shows you that pop-up right there which shows you that that has been completed and of course at any time you can tap on it if you want to view it on your photo gallery apple has made a lot of changes to the password section as well on the settings app you can now share passwords with anyone you want of course people you trust so the way to do that you just go to one of your passwords and all you have to do is just tap that share button right there that will allow you to actually share a password you will of course have to just enable this using your face id or your passcode and once that's done you will be able to actually share your passcode with anyone using airdrop Another really interesting change with passwords on iOS 17 is that now you can have a folder with your recently deleted passwords. Anytime you have deleted a password, you will actually find it right here on the recently deleted folder where of course you can view or recover that password that you have deleted. And when shooting videos on iOS 17, now the camera app on iOS 17 will actually lock the white balance. That is really cool. When shooting videos, you want all whites to look the same. So that will be done by the new feature, which allows the camera app to actually lock the white balance while you're shooting a video. And it will be the same for the entire video. That way, of course, your videos with iOS 17 will look much, much better. So if you're, if you're into videos and photos and things like that, you know that white balance is really important for the video to look really good. You want whites to look actually white so that will help a lot and it will make the video look much much better another interesting change that apple has made with ios 17 is that now you can insert your contacts in any app on ios so all you have to do here is tap and just tap on insert and this allows me to scan text i can insert a password here or just insert one of my contacts. So anytime I need to mention a contact or just add it there, I can go ahead and now do it from this pop-up. And for the last one, this is actually really interesting and actually very useful as well. So it is basically called here expire previous password now. What this allows you to do is that when you change the password of your device, you can still use the old password for up to 72 hours. So a lot of times when you just enter a new password, you create a new password for your device, you might just forget it or just try to use the old one. This feature will actually allow you to use the previous password for the next 72 hours until you get used to the new password. But what you can also do here is choose to basically expire that password immediately. So if you're sure that you never want to use that again, you want to use the new password, and of course you need you remember it you can just go ahead and tap the button right here it will expire that forever but otherwise it will still let you use the old password for three days until you get used to the new password so that's it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and of course don't forget to subscribe for more ios 17 videos i will see you on the next one